Like you're a foreigner, you crazy for this okay, one. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, that thing I'm jab riding when I'm left hooking. Fiends said they love me cause they know I keep that sack moving. Sad to say, but this the life that I have grown in. I had to hustle, skipping class, man, I was true in. I can flip some packs. Here we go. Is Kevin Durant a great, great player? He is, and he's been stifled by Boston. And I was going to go there. And, and let me tell you something. I don't want to bad mouth the dude, but I'm, I, I, see, you guys always talk about that championship stuff. I try to tell y'all, all these bus riders, they don't mean nothing to me. If you ain't driving the bus, don't walk around and talk about you a champion. If you riding the bus, I don't want to hear. Come on, Shaq, tell them. All these guys walk around with these championship rings. Hey, y'all bus riders. Well, let That's me tell you something. Road, Chuck. When you bus, when you the bus driver, and you got all that pressure when you have to play well, are you gonna get the blame? That's a different animal. It's a so, different animal. But I, I think also, guys, guys are what? on the bus. Yeah. They're also important. giving directions. Yeah, no, the, like no, no, giving stop. directions. No, uh, no. I'm there there are guys that are on that I, bus I, giving directions. They're they not just—they're they, not just sitting there. Yeah, they just own the bus. No, because, no, because let me tell you something. No, the, the Clippers. Ke because let me tell you, there's guys. Okay, because Kevin Durant's not on the bus. Well, he's just not on the bus. Yeah, no, but he's never. What, on the bus. what has happened when he was driving the bus? Well, he's never just. No, but what was happening when he was driving the bus? He lost to the finals. Yeah, okay, he did. And then when he was in Oklahoma City again... But he but, was driving him. You don't think yeah. he was the bus driver in, in Golden State? No, I do not. You think he was the best player on that team? Uh, no, I do not. Wow. I do. Well, you can say that, but he... he I thought he was the best player. You don't join no 73 win team and talk about you... But he was the best player. No, he, he got MVP. He wasn't the best player. Yo! Welcome back to the Bucket Discussions podcast, where we go beyond the stat sheet. We go beyond the narrative to bring all that real, authentic fire sports conversation man it's your boy Taj james aka trench montana aka tj aka one third of the bucket discussions podcast i'm gonna smoothly transition that over to the gods all right what's good with it man it's your boy the girls damn sugar dr dreams trigger you know what i'm saying <laughs> we back at y'all with another episode and i'm gonna pass it to the bro yo what's goody with it everybody hey man it's boy jake too man we're back at it you know what I'm saying? Another great week of the playoffs, man. We're excited about this, you feel me? So, oh. hey, man, without further ado, man, let's smoothly transition to it, man. Sir, let's get Sir. straight to it, man. But before we jump straight into that, make sure you guys are following the TikTok at Bucket Discussions Pod, man. We're dropping daily content over there. So make sure you tap in, make sure you're following. Mm -hmm. uh, also, make sure you're following the Instagram. We post everything, bro, from where we're dropping our episodes just to you know, polls and stuff like that, man. Make sure you're tapped in at bucket underscore discussions underscore 785, man. And then next, make sure you're tapped in and tuned in, especially if you're from Topeka. Make sure you tune in to Top City's Finest, man. Topeka's often a place where people want to focus on the negative and what's not going on and who's doing what. Make sure you're just tapped in, man. We're interviewing the finest people, bro. People with great stories, people with with jewels and just knowledge to, to offer everyone, bro. So make sure you tapped in. I'm pretty sure you're gonna find some type of inspiration, especially from people from your own city. So make sure you're tuned into that, man. It's a great, it's a great little concept, man. So make sure you're tuned in. Right, sure. Man. Let's get straight into it, man. We going to the playoffs. We just gotta check in. So hey, bro, free free flowing, man. Whatever you feeling, <clears throat> man. Just this this whole past week of the playoffs. Mm -hmm. How we feeling, um, guys? Mm. I'm gonna first pop pop it off with the Golden State Warriors. That goddamn Tom Fuller y'all watched <laughs> last night pissed me off. Um, <laughs> um first off, oh, I, first off, I want to give credit to Jokic. Yeah, shout they, out Jokic, man. Day yeah, in man. and day out. Every time the game, every time the ball tips off and the in the game is started, hey, he gets straight to it. Um yes. phenomenal move he made in the clutch right there, bumped off, bumped off Draymond, who has been playing phenomenal defense mm -hmm. on him as much as he can. I mean. When you have a player like Jokic, he gonna get off. You only can yeah, do so sure. much. But um, I want to give him his credit, bro, because last night he was putting the ball in all the right places. Uh, he he making the perfect play. Um, I just think we had a lot of missed free throws. Um, very uncharacteristic of players like Stephen Curry and Jordan Poole. Mm -hmm. I mean, Clay missed a free throw. Um, there's a lot of uncharacteristic things going on. Um. It kind of it low key it low key irritated me because I was ready just to get this series over with. But I am kind of excited that we're facing some adversity now. Um, last night I, it kind of got a little physical um, with with Denver, and I, 
I feel like that that's what we need right now. We need some physicality because going into this next series, if we if we if we handle business like we should, I'm never going to assume because hey, mm. I've seen it firsthand personally with this team. We have blown very large series leads, um, but I'm not even going to think in that man. We're going to knock on wood, but um, if we handle business like we should, man. We should be facing either either one of those teams in that Memphis and Grizzly Memphis and uh, Timberwolves series is a very very physical team. Yeah. Um, both of those teams get at it physical. They're going at you. How they how Memphis um is going at going straight at the Timberwolves. They throwing shots. They getting physical when you come in the lane. How Timberwolves is treating Ja when hey. you think he gonna come in there? Like Wolves getting rising. physical too. Hell yeah. yeah, they bumping. They <laughs> throwing him up out the air. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're like they're very physical teams, and I notice with the Warriors when you get very physical with them, it kind of like flusters them. Um, so I'm ready. I'm, I really want the Denver Nuggets to come out next next game. I think we play the 29th, I, I think. Um, next game, or do we – yeah, one of them days. I can't remember. But next game, I want them to come out um, on 10, um, being very physical with us, um, getting active, getting straight getting straight to it. I want, them to, I want us to, to face some adversity before we get to this next series. But as far as the other series go, man, Memphis – Memphis and uh, Timberwolves, phenomenal series they got going. Cat, they getting very active. I don't know how y'all, how y'all feeling about Cat or how he's playing, but I think he's, <laughs> like like Red Shit, he answered the call when they was when they oh yeah. Cat not doing nothing. The next game he said we hurt, okay, yeah. and he he started hooping. Um, as far as that the the performance by John Moran, the boys very lackluster last game. Um, even though they stayed in it, I was just like mm-hmm. John Moran had like four or five. <laughs> um, yeah, at one point I'm like, damn, he's not scoring at all, but. Even with that, he kind of had a little bounce back. He had what, thirteen assists or something like that. Yeah, something um, crazy, bro. High number Very of crazy. assists. He he. One thing about him, if he's if he's off one day, he's still going to impact the game in other, various of other ways, whether it's passing, defense, um, mm-hmm. making the right play. But that's a great series. Um, what other series have I been tapped in? I don't know if y'all seen Miami. I, I watched a little bit mm. of that series. Yeah. Um, just the sheer physicality of that series. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. It's gonna Miami, crazy. yeah. Facts, man. They've been They're tearing getting it up. active with it. Um, what else have I been watching? I kind of gave up. I I guess I'll say gave up watching the I watched a little bit of the net series, but it's just like it's kind of disappointing. It's over. It's yeah, over, bro. Yeah. Just keep it a bean. It's just it's very disappointing. <laughs> like versus what I seen the first game. I'm like, damn, Kyrie's getting active. He's talking shit. He's flipping people off. But now it's just like, damn. Mm-hmm. They're the better yeah. team. Yeah, it was built <laughs> yeah. up, bro. But now it's just kind of yeah. like fell flat on his face. And it's not even that they're the better team because they are, but it's they the are. fact that the Nets they lost so many games that they should have won. They should have at least won those first two, bro. But it's just like they don't want to take the game. The, the Celtics try to give it to them, and it's like, all right, nah, we still the Celtics didn't even play that good. We still beat them. So it's like they kind of <laughs> already mm-hmm. got your head, bro. They got your head messed up. It's like, damn, we play our yeah. best, and they we still can't beat them. Facts. Yeah, yeah. Um, man, shout out to them, man, for that defense they playing on KD. For sure. Hey, they're playing man. phenomenal team defense, and I and I did hey. see a post saying <laughs> Jason Tatum was locking them up. Nah, we can't give all him all that credit, bro. Yeah, not That's all the team effort, team bro. Defense. You can give That's, him the main credit, but not all of it. Yeah, not we all can't of give it. him all the credit because that's team defense. Like we doing with Joker, you can't guard Joker by himself. Yeah. No, no one person is checking Joker. If you got a, you got a, your team on defense is on a string. And you got mm-hmm. Joker, you got a man facing him up, and you got help this way. If he spins this way, you got help this way. It's all a team. It's all connected. So, <laughs> but what other sure, series bro. y'all been tapped into, bro? Man, bro, hey, just like you said, um, that I've I've been fucking with that uh that Warriors and Nuggets series. I feel like obviously it's three one, but I feel like it's it's been a lot closer. Obviously, there's some blowouts, but those yes. games were really not uh, won by a whole lot. You feel me? So. And honestly, I could say the same thing with the the Celtics and um, Nets series. And actually, I'm going to speak on that one first just because, obviously, that's the main one that everyone's talking about. It is very disappointing, honestly. I expected Boston to win this series uh, last episode, man. But like you guys remember, I said in seven. And I remember you guys rocking with the Nets. And you guys even said Nets in seven. So we expected – all of us expected this series to go a lot further than what it is right now. I know it's not over, but – 3-0, bro, there's never been a team to to come back from that deficit. So it's kind of just like uh, – it is pretty much over, just like Tar said. So it's very disappointing seeing uh, the Nets kind of go out like that. 
Um, and especially just like you said, Taj, bro, in those first two games, the Nets, honestly, I'm not going to sit here and say they should have won, but they easily could have won. And that's what really hurt them in the playoffs, bro. One game like that can hurt you. For example, just last year, man, I'm not always trying to bring up my Clippers, but every like they're a good example. You feel me? That game where DeAndre Ayton had that um, the alley oop dunk at the end of the game. That was a game we could have easily won, and we could have prevented them from winning that game, but we just didn't. You feel me? So, uh, in the playoffs, bro, you have no room for errors, especially when it comes to games like this. And the fact that uh, the Nets have not been able to step up to the challenge. And everyone had them um, as the ultimate favorite to possibly win a chip or at least go to the finals. It's very disappointing, honestly, bro. And uh, you got to give the credit to the Celtics, bro. Hey, they've been tearing shit up, bro. I know uh, we said we can't give Jason Tatum all the credit, obviously, but we can give him the main credit because, uh, again, bro, Taj, like you said, my guy, in the, the first episode we were talking about the podcast, bro, or not the podcast, the, the playoffs, uh, Jason Tatum, bro, he he was sitting in that chair, bro. He was getting down to the nitty and gritty on Kevin Durant those oh, first yeah. couple plays. And like you said, bro, that's exactly what you need from your star player because that type of energy, bro, it, it just goes through the whole team, bro. It's just – it's electric, you feel me? Like, even – it's just – it's unbearable, you feel me? Like, every player on the bench is like, damn, if our star player's doing that, then we could easily be doing that too. And um, that's really what have uh, been winning the Celtics those games. And it's honestly crazy, bro, just seeing it – um. They're not letting him see the light of day, like I said, bro. Hey, man, they every time he comes off a screen, something like that, they have another defender just right there in his face ready to go, you feel me? So there really isn't much more we could say about the series. It's 3-0 right now. They played a day around, what, 7, 6, 30, something like that. And honestly, bro, it's, it's not looking good, bro. Yeah, yeah, he brought <laughs> out the screen, out, bro. bro. Hey, it's gone. It's, out, man. it's gone, bro. And honestly, I know people want to sit here and try to be like, well, the Nets, bro, if there is any team that could come back from a 3-0 deficit, it is the Brooklyn Nets. And honestly, bro, the way the Celtics have been playing, they are not trying to let they're up at all. They're not going for it. They're not going for it at all. You can't bro. play this with is, this team, bro. Just finish yeah, them. Yeah, facts, them bro. Off. Facts, bro. And if there's a team to not let a team come back from a 3-0 deficit, Celtics. it is this. Yeah, it's the Celtics team, bro. So there's not much more to say about that series, honestly. Uh, good shit, Jay Tay, uh, Jalen Brown. You guys have been fucking shit up, bro. So good shit to y'all. Yeah. Um, but uh, another series I've been fucking with a lot, man, is has got to be the Wolves versus Grizzlies. Obviously, like you guys were saying, Hell yeah. real physical, bro. Real physical, man. This is what I like, bro. This is what I've been waiting for all year when it comes to the playoffs. And I'm not even mad that it's the Wolves instead of the Clippers. You feel me? I ain't going to be one of those biased, hateful fans. I'm glad that the Wolves made the playoffs uh, since like four years ago. So, hey, it's good seeing them, bro. And I'm glad that they're they're at least keeping it, you know, um, semi-competitive. You feel me? It's 2-2 right now, and I believe they're going back to uh, Memphis this next game, and it's going to be it's gonna be electric, bro. John hey, bro, let me, let me interject real quick, bro. Not, Go ahead, bro. Cut you off, bro. Go ahead, but, bro. hey, I know a lot of people – like, I'm a person that don't – I say don't blame the mm -hmm. rest, bro, but this series yeah. has been kind of weird just off the simple fact. No, like, yeah, the rest right. is letting them play for the first couple mm -hmm. games, bro. Referees. Hey, no more. Take yourselves out the game, bro. Y'all was blowing the whistle far too much, bro. Ain't no way. Yeah. Damn near the whole starting lineup from Memphis should have four fouls, bro. Yeah. Obviously, ridiculous. you have to call some, but I know Taylor Jenkins, the Memphis Grizzlies head coach, came out and said, like, he felt like this game was, like, ridiculously officiated, man. And mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Yeah. I got to kind of agree with him, bro. I was like, the it rest kind of – they put yeah. themselves into this, like, interjecting into the game far too much, man. It's a physical series, man. Just let these guys play, man. That's yeah, for sure, bro. Say. No, I'm glad you brought that up, actually, because I wanted to bring that up just because Jaron Jackson Jr., bro, that man is averaging five fouls in like 20-something 20, 20 minutes of play, bro. Five yeah. fouls this series, bro. There's been four games played this series. There's no reason he should be averaging five fouls. And obviously, uh, I'm not going to sit here and blame the refs completely for that because he, him yeah. and Kat have been both been making dumb fouls. But like you said, bro, yeah. these refs have been fucking ridiculous this series, bro. And there's honestly no excuse for it. The same way um, – mm -hmm. Players get fined for, you know, um, interacting with the refs and stuff. I feel like refs should be fined for making just dumb, boneheaded calls in games, too, because this is honestly just unacceptable, bro. This is the playoffs, bro. There's no room for just error calls like that. You feel me? Um, I'm not going to sit here and, like I said, Cat, bro, he's been doing a lot of dumb shit. There's no excuses for, for sure. that, but come on, for man. Sure. But come on, bro. You These refs are ridiculous, bro. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because that was actually – Something I wanted to get off my chest because Jaron Jackson Jr., bro, he's obviously the second best player on the Grizzlies. And the fact that he's averaging five fouls a game 
with Are 10 you? points, bro. Yeah, that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous, bro. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say about the playoffs, bro. This shit's lit as hell, man. Um, There's honestly some – yeah, some of my favorite playoffs. Probably – I know I say – it seems like I say this every year, but it really does feel like <laughs> – this playoffs is one of my favorite in like the past four to five years. Like this shit's crazy. Memphis though. game, I'm like, so first you go <laughs> down, it was like a series where a sequence where Memphis, not even it started off with the Timberwolves. Timberwolves, I think they got like a offensive foul. Bam, they come back down. Uh, Memphis gets an offensive foul. I'm like, what is going on right now? Yeah. Bam, they go back down. Defensive foul. I'm like, bro, this right here, and then the replays are killing me. I'm mm-hmm. like, oh my goodness. And then like, not to say the silly ass replays, bro. Like, come it's on, just like, man. come on. It's so and, obvious. <laughs> and then uh, like the game seems so much slower because of course you have your normal mm-hmm. timeouts, but then I'm like, hey coach, if you ain't get your your playoff and your messages off to these players when you had these 30 minutes of replay, I don't know what to tell you. You don't save that timeout for another time because this game is not supposed to be this long. Um, it's just getting OD though. I just think but- I believe it was game three, bro. They said the first quarter took 50 minutes or 50 minutes to play. I was like, yeah, that shit's nah, it really be feeling like that though, bro. Real shit, bro. Hey man, that's that's real shit, especially when it comes to later in the game in the fourth quarter when the refs are trying to, you know, make sure they're not messing up on any calls, but they end up fucking up anyway. It's just well, like referees, ridiculous. what are y'all doing, bro? Y'all be just sitting yeah. over there with the headphones watching the same play a hundred times like, bro, over and the over ball. and then talking about it and then go back to watch it. It's just ridiculous, bro. Just honestly, ball, man. Yeah, bro, it's it's really annoying, bro, with these refs. Honestly, it is. And on, it is. hey, another another series I feel like we should talk about out actually is the Suns versus Pelicans, bro. This shit's a lot closer than uh, people it is. are making it out to be, bro. Hey, that series is tied up two two right now, and with D book being out, man, we really don't know which way the series could go. Um, I believe Game Five will take place back in Phoenix, but um, hey, man, the way this this Pelicans team is playing. There's really no telling who could win this series, man. Tough so, break, tough break, bro. Yeah, tough break. It is, but bro. hey, hey, CP3, bro. Yeah, I know it's a lot to ask, but bro, you got to put the team on your back, just kind of like how D Book did, bro, in the playoffs when you went out. He put mm-hmm. the team on his back and started carrying. Yeah. CP, I know we're used to you being like a facilitator, getting everybody involved, but like we need you to go ahead. And just we need you to get, get buckets, bucks. bro. We need like 20, yeah. 30 from you, man. <laughs> hey, there's does. nobody else on the Suns that really can like really mm-hmm. take that pressure right. off of him. Campaign was that guy, but I'm not sure what happened to him. Like, we kind of need him to, to yeah, you step know. Step up a little bit. The hey, Aaron back Holiday, the too. My yeah. takeaway on the playoffs, bro, has just been, like, every series. I feel like this applies to every series, man. Yeah, There's sure. no real, like, this just shows kind of the parity in the league, bro. The, the one one and AFCs are competing with each other, bro. It's not like mm-hmm. there's no one dominant team that's just blowing everybody out. It's not no, no like, 2016, 2017, going to stay worse type team. Like, sure, everybody's really battling, man. Even Trey Young. You'll see them as an underdog. There was like the ninth seed before they made the playoffs. So it's like they're still competing with the Miami Heat, one of the top teams in the league, man. So I feel like this shows, bro, every team is facing some sort of adversity, bro. Some sort of like they're getting pushed back. It's just not like no, no dominant blow. Even the Warriors, like hey. like bro kind of talked about earlier, the Warriors are even having to kind of battle back against a little adversity. They were up mm-hmm. 3-0, end up losing last night. So it's kind of like every team is really battling it out, bro, in this first round. Um so, yeah, bro, I feel like that just represents the parity in the league. But I'm going to touch on a couple of series, bro. First, I'm going to touch on – let me just touch on the the, the Wolves and the, and the Grizzlies. Let's get that out the way, man. That's mm-hmm. a super fun series, physical. It is. Me and, me and my brother got the chance to watch that game together, man, on – uh what was it, Saturday? Yeah. Man, crazy game, bro. Like, nip and tuck, bro. Kept you on the edge of your seat. Like, you was just wondering what's going to happen next. Um. <sighs> Honestly, bro, I really don't care who wins that series. I just like watching competitive <laughs> basketball, bro. Mm-hmm. For everybody that like, says, like, the NBA <clears throat> soft, like, one play that stood out to me in particular, bro, was, like, John Morant. And I'm kind of, like, I'm a fan of John Morant, bro, but I'm kind of, like, looking at him with a side eye a little bit because it's, like, he kind of runs his mouth a lot. But it's, like, hey, bro, it's time to put up or shut up. Like, mm-hmm. you hear he always talking about, oh, we want all the smoke. We want this. We want that, bro. Hey, they're giving you smoke, bro. Like, stand up. So there's this one play where John Morant, you know how he's, like, kind of like a – so in my opinion, he's kind of a reckless player, just the way he just throws yeah. his body around. Like, yeah. bro, you kind of gotta, you like gotta stay off the ground, bro. Yeah, it's right. reckless, but like, he's flying through the air. And in the in the regular season, bro, like we see a lot of we see people put up fifties and sixties with with ease. Mm-hmm. But like playoffs, bro, everything gets tightened up, bro. It's half court, more of a half court game than a, a, a transition game, bro. But John Morant's running through the lane, he jumps, and then like I believe it was Ant Edwards or somebody. 
they yanked him out the air, and I'm like, yeah, no, it, was, it was D'Angelo Russell yanked him out the air. Yeah, it, was. it was D'Lo. It was D'Lo. I, I think Bro kind of yeah. hit his back a little bit. He was on the ground like mm. like this. And I'm like, hey, bro, I know it looks bad, and they're gonna give him a flagrant one for that, bro. But hey, I kind of like it because this is playoffs, bro. I know I'm not on that '90s ish. We're like, oh, we're gonna knock you out the air, but like, hey, John Morant, bro, yeah. this shit is not the regular season, bro. This 100%. is not sweet. I know y'all, y'all running through the regular season. Oh, we having mm-hmm. fun. We won 50 games. Hey, bro, that shit's not sweet, bro. Grizzlies are seven seed or not Grizzlies, but the T was a seven seed, bro. Hey, they not just happy to be here. They trying to win. They trying to win this mm-hmm. series, bro. So I'm excited about that series, bro. And I like it because <clears> it's like it's not like you don't you don't get the front run, bro. Like we really get to get get to get out here and play, bro. A lot of people, bro. I'm gonna call it the AU AAUization of the NBA, bro. I know a lot of people they think they can just come in and just like coast off reputation. We don't gotta play, no, bro. You gotta get out here and play, bro. Uh, we yeah, see yeah. a lot of people, a lot of people I grew up with didn't have to play. They just got to come in the gym. Like, oh, I'm this, I'm this guy, I'm this hooper. No, nah, bro, we get to get out here and run, bro, and play. So everybody mm-hmm. gets to get a fair shot, bro. So I love it. I love to see this this series, bro. Man. It's not, it's not um. It's not high flying, bro. It's not sweet out here, bro. We getting straight to it. Hey, y'all say y'all don't care who wins. Uh, I, I really don't, bro. I guess we're both, we're all, we're all expecting this to go seven, right? Ah, yeah. shit, I am, yeah. All right, so, so who y'all got in seven? <laughs> give me the Wolves, bro. At the beginning, I, I was really high on the Wolves, bro. Just because uh, yeah. they're two star players, bro. They got Cat and they got Anthony Edwards. You feel me? And then when you have D'Angelo Russell as your third option, bro, I kind of feel like you might be the better overall team. But they yeah, definitely the Wolves, do have, yeah. They I mean, the Grizzlies, to. yeah, the Grizzlies do have, they obviously had a, a better record and shit, but I feel like when it comes down to the roster, I feel like the Wolves um, could actually take the series, for real. <laughs> hey, bro, I'm going to go with the Grizzlies in seven, bro, just based off the coaching matchup. I really, yeah. Chris Finch yeah. is, is his name, bro, for the Wolves. I don't really, I think he's kind of end over his head a little bit too, bro. Yeah, he's mid, bro. He's cool at times, but just I feel like they got to move on. Yeah, he's yeah, making bro. dumbheaded decisions, bro. I feel you on that. It seems like he don't really have, like, mm-hmm. bro, honestly, shout out Cat, bro. <laughs> like, obviously, I know I'll be on his head a lot just messing yeah. around with him. But, like, bro, Cat, he really he really needs to get inside and dominate, bro. And I feel like it's going to take a different coach to, like, actually. But you can kind of tell Cat's, like, confidence is kind of shaky, bro. Like, he makes yeah, some good is. plays, and he's, like, he's hype. But then, like, he'll do something dumb, and then he kind of gets taken out the game. Yeah. And he will shoot the ball no more. Facts. He needs that coach to bring that dog out of him, bro. Cat, bro, you are seven foot. Bro, get down low. They cannot stop you. No, yeah. there's nobody off the, the Grizzlies that can really check Cat, bro. So, Cat, bro, yeah. I think it's going to take a different coach to bring that dog out of Cat, man. Just bring that confidence out of him, too, man. So, yeah, bro. He said he been I'm going to go with Grizzlies in seven. Grizzlies. I'm uh, he Grizzlies said he's in seven. He's been chatting with KG, and I ain't going to lie. KG, hey, not. KG, if yeah, KG got think, a, a six yeah. foot two player on him, he not fading away. He's dunking yeah, on his done. ass. I'm no, sorry. he's not shooting. He's not shooting a deep ass three, bro. I know you want a three point <laughs> contest, bro. Yeah, bro. He's going straight to the rim. I ain't gonna lie. But Facts. yeah, cat. There is moments where I see like potential for that dog. Like it's I don't know yeah. if it's there, but I see the potential where like he can really take over a game. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Sure. But to be honest, I've been having this 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 internal conflict of who who would I like who would I like them the Warriors to match up with. And it's real tough because these teams is damn near like I don't want to say they're it's the like same, the same team, bro. Enough. Pick your own poison, bro. As as Pick your own poison and how they play and who their top player is. You got Jaw, you got Ant Man, both bouncy, but I feel like uh, Ant Man can shoot shoot a little better than ja, than Jaw can. Yeah, um, yeah Jaw can hit a three, but yeah, I'll take Ant as far as uh, shooting threes over him. And but the my only thing is I was gonna pick the Grizzlies, mm-hmm. but Jaw has been giving us problems. All year, <laughs> all season, he's been giving us problems. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I think I'd rather I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Wolves. I'm gonna go Wolves in seven. That's what I'm gonna rock out with, man. Yeah, yeah. Next up, I gotta move on to the Celtics and the Nets, man. I mm. understand. I want to shout the Celtics, bro. Like we said, bro, it takes a different coach to bring that dog out of you. This is the exact damn Celtics team that was in there last year that got beat by just KD himself. KD, he beat him. I believe it was four one. Yeah, four one. Jason Tatum had like a fifty point game. I believe like Jalen Brown, Jalen Brown may have been out, but it's basically damn near the exact same team. Um, beat them four one, but hey, they they brought in their different coach, and now it's like, all right, bet like Jason Tatum confidence is different, Jalen Brown confidence is different, Al Horford confidence is different. Just the whole team, bro. Everybody <laughs> out there, like we not scared of this team, bro. Katie Kyrie, yeah. who cares, bro? Like we out here, we locked in on defense. Like mm-hmm. shout out that team, man. But I do want to address this though. Facebook, bro. That's why I don't be on there debating too much because like it just kind of gets goofy. But like, guys, let's relax. 
for one, let's stop comparing LeBron beating the Celtics in 2018. Thank you, to, to Thank you bro. <laughs> hey, bro, I'm a LeBron fan, bro. That shit just goofy as hell, bro. Like, yeah, no, it's first really off, goofy. bro. Jalen Brown, Jalen Brown, and Jason Tatum was like 1920, bro. They was kids. Obviously, LeBron did have a trash team, but bro, this is not the same team. They had the same players. This is not the same team. Brad Stevens was the coach, bro. It's just a whole different type of vibe, bro. These dudes. Were hey, not to interrupt hey, you, bro, but it's really people. sad. It's really sad that we even have to address that, like to yeah, say yeah, stop comparing that, bro. <laughs> like <and these> people <laughs> would like normal basketball knowledge, just basic basketball knowledge, yeah. know. That Celtics team was young as hell. Like it's I said, bro, bro. bro. Jason Tatum barely had facial hair, bro. He just got out of fucking high school. Like, what the hell do you, bro? Hey, bro, like, people will be on bullshit. I ain't yeah, gonna it's lie. Ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous, man. And then, bro, bro next, next I want to address, man. Hey, chill on, KD, bro. Like, honestly, yeah. it's kind of funny to see, like, like, like the main superstars are not in the playoffs right now, bro. Obviously, yeah. KD's a main <laughs> superstar, but, like, like LeBron, Kawhi, PG, and all those guys are not yeah. in the playoffs, bro. So it's like. You can't really, play MPC, damn. <laughs> you can't really like, you can't really like, those are usually the guys that get a lot of criticism, bro. But yeah, now it's for kinda sure. Like, damn, the media, they have to find that guy to really, to get on and their top, KD. bro. <laughs> KD, bro. They, they firing this shit up, bro. Yeah, but now I got, mean. people got to chill out, though, because like, I see it's kind of getting kind of reckless. People saying yeah. he's in the left going state, like, oh, he misses Steph Curry and stuff like that. Or KD's really not that good. Mm-hmm. Y'all relax, man. People's comparing his record from OKC and, and Brooklyn and, and stuff like that. I'm like, all right, bro, let's relax. Obviously, KD, he's getting stopped, bro, but it's a team effort. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, there's really nothing else you can really say, bro. If if a team's devoting their whole defensive scheme towards stopping you, bro, I feel like that should that should tell you, like, bro, this dude's really that guy. He's really a dominant scorer, bro. Mm-hmm. And um, I so I sent y'all a video in the group chat, bro. But I seen mm-hmm. this uh odd couple podcast I watch a lot, bro. Rob Parker and Chris Bouchard, shout out to them guys, man. I love watching them. But they were talking about, like, I don't want to hear no more about um, KD. Nobody could guard KD in the 90s. I'm like, bro, what? What is it? Like, how does that make any sense, bro? Because he's getting stopped by a team. I can see if he's getting locked up 1v1, bro. But it's like, bro, this yeah. is a whole team. If y'all, bro, have y'all even been watching the games, guys? If y'all was really watching the games, y'all would see, bro. They playing this like, like yeah. a cornerback with safety help over the top, bro. I was watching the first game. I seen, oh, KD got Al Horford on him. Oh, he broke off Al Horford and he makes it to the next level, bro. He got a Marcus Smart waiting on him. So it's kind of like, bro, they're give the Celtics credit, bro. That game plan is working, man. Kyrie, I don't know where the hell Kyrie went, bro. Bro has disappeared. <laughs> yeah, Ramadan mm-hmm. must be messing him up, bro. I don't know what's going on, but yeah, bro, he been locked up for sure. Um, <laughs> hey, I got, I got, I got the, I got Kyrie them winning this today. I ain't gonna lie. I don't think they're gonna go out like that. They got a little bit of heart in them. No, nah, yeah, I, I, I don't think it. I don't think so either, bro. But um, <sighs> the team, bro, they just outmatched, bro. Coaching. I want to shout out my uncle, bro. He's a he's a Nets fan. He was a Nets fan. He not no bandwagon. He was a Nets fan before they even mm. jumped off, bro. Like Nets, he was a Nets, Nets fan, fan back in like 2012. But yeah. he just been. He just. I talked to him last night. He was just telling me like, yeah, we got a whole <laughs> bunch of clowns on our team, man. We got Steve Nash, KD, <laughs> Kyrie, Ben Simmons. He he hot right now, but it's like. <laughs> Steve Nash is in over his head, man. We're gonna have to get a yeah. new coach for for KD and Kyrie, man. Um, yeah, something he's got. Yeah, we just it's it seems like it's always something with that team, man. It's always like a, a issue or something. But hey, hope hey, hopefully next season they can get right, man. But for right now, it's done. And obviously, I think just for the NBA and for playoff sake, bro, I really don't know if we would like to see the the Nets move on, bro. Obviously, just for KD and Kyrie purposes, but I mean they're not the better team, obviously. Shout out the uh, Celtics, bro, because everybody else been getting off. Bruce Brown yeah. been getting off. Seth Curry been getting off. But you stop that main guy, bro. That's like cutting the head off the snake. It's over with. Yeah. So yeah. shout out sure. to them guys, man. Back, man. Other yeah. than that, man, there's no real like other series I really need to touch on, bro. Because I feel like they're other they're kind of self-explanatory, man. Yeah, so, man. That's a little quick playoff check-in, man. Let's go ahead sir. and drop it off, man. All right, get man. it. We looking up. Restrix, you are crazy. Another jump ball segment coming at y'all today and our MVP. Let's shout out our MVP. Um, <laughs> we're giving our MVP today to t- excuse me, Tylen Alejos. No, not know. Tylen, bro. Ev, bro, big Ev. Oh, big, big bro. Ev. My fault. Big my fault. Bro, we're man. giving our MVP <laughs> to Evan Alejos, man. Yes, sir. Um, he played at Topeka High on the football yes, team, man. F- phenomenal player, man. I ain't seen bro in a minute. Um, yeah. we appreciate your support, man. Um, bro said he seen you at the bowling alley the other day, bro. He said 
you was tapped in with us, bro. So we appreciate uh, you tapping in. We appreciate your support. Um, uh, as always, man, like we always say, anybody in the city support mm-hmm. is a big deal to us, man. So we appreciate sure, that, bro. So you are MVP for this episode, and I'll pass it to y'all, man. Hey, man. Hey, shout out Evan, man. Hey, you was the homie back in high school, bro. Evan's funny as hell. That man was strong as hell. I ain't gonna lie. For being, you know, not that big of a motherfucker, he was, he was strong <laughs> as hell. You feel me? That yeah, motherfucker yeah. was strong as hell. So, yeah, yeah. hey, shout out Evan, bro. He was the homie, bro. Um, Yeah, I hope you're doing good. We appreciate you tapping in with us. That really does mean a lot, my guy, for real. And yeah, sure. man, hey, just keep grinding, keep doing whatever you're doing out here and keep tuning in with us, man. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. Hey, little bro, Tyler, make sure you come on the show, t- tap in with us, man. We know you're on your way to KU, sure. so we would love to have you on here. But, man, let's get to Evan, man. Evan, bro, I appreciate you tapping in, bro. Like I, like bro was talking about earlier, I seen him at the bowling alley Saturday. Bro was showing love, just kind of giving us that encouragement, bro. And I'm going to keep re- reiterating this point, man. Every time somebody that you grew up with, man, somebody that you know personally, bro, they they give you that like that kind of um that fuel, bro, to keep going when yeah. they tell you like, hey, bro, I love what you're doing. Keep going, bro. Keep pushing. It's like rocket fuel, man, uh, to just to keep getting better, keep growing, man. So I appreciate that, man. Hey, just keep doing your thing, bro. I appreciate you tapping in. For sure, man. Hey, sure. MVP of episode 32. Facts, yes, man. Sir. All love to showing everyone. Hey, everyone's showing love, man. We appreciate you for real. So, hey, make sure to keep tuning in with us. We got more basketball content coming in through the playoffs, man. Stay tuned. So, man, keep tapped in. And, and as always, man, if you want to be our next MVP for the episode, make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell yes, a friend. Sir. Keep commenting, liking, liking the videos, liking the posts on IG and sharing. We are watching. We we do notice. So, you if you if you mm-hmm. like and comment and share, you up next. Just be, best believe that. But we got a question for y'all, man, for this for this jump ball segment. Mm. If you could listen to one album and only one for mm. the re- rest of your life, what album would that be? Hey, hey, before we get tapped in, man, hey, every all the viewers watching this, man, comment down below, share whatever social media platform you want, man. Let us know hey. what album you would listen to if you could for the rest of your life. Only one album, man, and why mm-hmm. we would like to know. For sure, man. Hey, that's a tough question. I ain't gonna lie. I was I was overthinking at first, but honestly, I'm gonna keep it sweet and simple, man. I'm gonna go with Victory Lap by Nipsey Hussle, man. Hey, I ain't gonna Great lie, choice. bro. I got hey, I got that shit tatted on me, so I feel like it's only right to choose that album, man. Hey, that shit's a banger from from one. Yeah. I forgot how many tracks are on that album, actually. I think it's like 12, 13, 14. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty yeah, 16 track album, 16. bro. Yeah, that's perfect no amount for me. Yeah, facts. No skips, man. <laughs> no I love skips. <laughs> yeah, I love albums that are about, you know. 13 to 16 tracks, man. Not too long, not too short, man. I feel like that's a perfect link. So, hey, I'm going to give it to the Nipsey Hustle Man Victory Lap Classic hey, album. Bro. You can listen to it anytime. And why? And why would you choose that one, man? Why would I choose that one, man? Just because, like I said, you can listen to it at any time. I'll be at work bumping that shit. I'll be at the gym. I'll be chilling like you got. Bro, versatile. Got facts, bro. Like, grinding all my life, you could be listening to that at the gym, doing something. Or you got tracks like Double Up that I'll be, you know, just chilling to, vibing to. You feel me? So, hey, man. That track or that album, man, banger. Great banger, Let me touch man. on that real quick, man. Back. Cool, bro. Go ahead. Like you were saying, it's real versatile, bro. You got different tracks, bro. You got that motivation in there, bro. You got yeah. the, like, oh, I just want to vibe out, bro. And yeah. you smoke, man. You can kick back, man. Yeah. Listen to Double Up, bro. Listen to Real yes, Big, sir. stuff like that, man. It's, it's yeah, they got the singing on there, too, man. Hell yeah. The yeah, vocals man. on there, for sure. Shout out Nifty Hustle, man. R.I.P. Yes, sir. Thanks, man. R.I.P. Nip, for real. You gonna get you on you gonna post your album and what album you listen to for the rest of your life, man? Hey, man, for me, I feel like this is just like I grew up on this, man. This is just like a uh, it feel like a soundtrack to my life up to up until this point, bro. I'm gonna go with Friday Night Lights, bro. I feel like I stole yours, bro. And <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can pick it too, bro. Just let hey, us know bro. why, man. I'm gonna go with yeah. Friday Night Lights, bro, because like I said, I feel like it's a soundtrack into my life up until this point, bro. Some certain stuff that I'm dealing with, bro. Like I said, I can't relate to to. The folks out here talking about they're killing people. They're doing this. They're doing that, man. I can't relate to that. I can relate to J. Cole, man. I can relate to where he was at in that point of his life, bro. Because that's kind of where I'm at in my this point of my life, bro. College, we trying to figure things out, man. Just all the different stuff that's going on in the world, man. So mm-hmm. I can definitely relate to that, man. And like I said, it's no skips. I can just vibe out to that whenever. It has a different, the motivational tracks in there. It got to like, the, I just want to kick back. The catchy hooks, the everything, bro. So yeah, shout out J. Yeah. Cole, Friday Night Lights, man. That's the soundtrack of my life up until this point. Yeah, man. I'm gonna second that, man. November 12, 20, 2010, I believe, is when that dropped, man. A 19 mm. track mixtape. 
Hey, classic. When I tell you no skips, I mean it may be a little <laughs> bit of bias, but I'm gonna say no skips. Not a single one. Now there is some stuff I skip just because the meaning of the song is like, damn, that's hey, that's too real. So I I, I gotta pass that. Go past that. Like Sea World, couple of tracks on there. Like damn, that's a little. Let too me touch real. on Sea World, man, because like <laughs> I feel like obviously it is a hella sad sad story, bro, behind that yeah. track. And if you a cold <laughs> fan, you know what we're talking about, but. Honestly, I feel like it's just, it represents like the curiosity of like the shit that's going on around the world, bro. And I feel like that's kind of how I am. I'm like, damn, like, why did this happen? Why did that happen, bro? Mm -hmm. So I feel like it really kind of represents who I am, bro, in, in my life, man. But for sure, yeah, keep man. going, man. Phenomenal tracks on there. Two Face, back to the topic, um, premeditated murder. Um, there's mm -hmm. there's a lot of different stuff on there that just touches on a, a lot of different phases of life, a lot of different, a lot of different issues and 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 current issues that we yeah. are facing even though this was made 2010 um i feel like Timeless. it still holds still holds weight still very relevant to the times today oh. all right man so like i was saying man that's a that's a top track and yeah, friday night lights i second that to bro that'll be a track i can listen to for the rest of my life top to bottom i feel like it's a 20 damn near 20 tracks on your 19 um it's always something different you can listen to so very great album um, Real quick, bro. Let me touch on this, man. It just really means that that album mixtape really means a lot to me, man. And it just represents like that, like the point that Cole was at in his life. That's the point I'm at in my life, bro. That burning desire to like, bro, I'm going, I'm going to do this, bro. Can't nobody stop me. Whatever that may be. That's exactly how I'm feeling every time I listen to that track, bro. And like, bro, we know, man, I, I keep saying this, bro, but it's real. It's really the truth, man. J. Cole is like my Jay-Z, bro. How a lot of people look at Jay-Z, a lot of old heads look at Jay-Z like, Oh yeah, Jay Z said this, or they they quoting all his lines, bro. That's how I feel about J Cole, man. And shout out to Jay Z because he put on my, my man J Cole. So shout out to him for that. There, bro. Like well, like he said, when Friday night Friday night lights drop, I wanted it bad, bro. I feel what you're saying, bro. There's, there's definitely things and want things in life you you desire desire to achieve. Um, I feel like that's a this album is a great representation of just everything going on. You feel what I'm saying? So. Mm -hmm. This concludes the jump ball segment for this episode. And always remember, if you want to be an MVP, like we just said, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend, man. So we're going to get on with our next topic, man. I, I made this point earlier to bro, because everything I, I keep reading, oh, yeah, Ben coming back. No, he not. Ben coming back. Oh, no, he coming back this game. And I said, would you say, you said something about, I think your original statement was like, I don't think it was Ben fell off. Or Ben's watch. I said Ben's just it's okay. Ben's just one of those top player, top five players. Oh yeah, bro. Let me go ahead and say it real quick, man. Ben Simmons, great player, man, when he's on the floor. But Ben yeah. Simmons is a top five player that don't want to hoop in the NBA no more, bro. Hey, put him on that list. He just bro. don't want to hoop. Hey. That right, that list. How we how we feeling about this, man? Is his return date <laughs> keeps getting pushed back, and then like everybody's like, all right, come back game four. And then I guess he played four v four. He like, all right, damn, my back sore. I can't play today. How y'all feeling about that, man? Hey, man, um, I knew, I knew exactly. Oh shit, you go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. Like hey, man. On your mom. <laughs> yeah, hold on. <laughs> hey, man. All I can, man. The only thing I can really say is Ben Simmons, bro. We wasn't really expecting anything less from you, my guy. I mean, shit. What the hell is the difference between Saturday when they was down 2-0? Between Monday, a day in between, you tell me you couldn't play Saturday, but you was gonna play Monday. Like, come on, bro. That is just the weakest shit I've seen by an NBA player ever, bro. Honestly, your team is down, bro. They're getting their ass kicked right now, and you just watch it from the bench. You over yeah. here and your designer dripped out. But you, hey man, your your team's fighting for their lives right now. KD's <laughs> over here stressing, getting bullied, bro, playing damn near 48 minutes a game. And him and Kyrie are getting shut down. And you tell me you can't come in and just play a little bit of defense. Like, bro, it's so it's so weak, bro. Like, I know we've been, Jeez. you know, keep been talking about Ben Simmons all season. But honestly, bro, when you are the topic of discussion, you are going to get talked about, bro. So I don't see why you're going to be sitting here talking about, oh, on Saturday, well, yeah, yeah, I might play Monday. Like, what? Just play today, bro. What the hell is a day in between going to do? It's so crazy to me, man. And the fact that uh, Steve Nash even said, yeah, I wasn't really expecting him to play anyway. I think that just goes to show everything we need to know about. Ben Simmons as <laughs> as an individual, as a player, just as a teammate, bro. This dude is just he's so he's someone you don't want to be around, bro. It's what it's what it sounds like. Like everyone on the Philadelphia 76ers was tired of his shit. And now he comes to the Brooklyn Nets, 
everyone's expecting the Brooklyn Nets to be, you know, somewhat competitive with him on that team still. And yet here he is 10 months later after he, he uh, passed up a dunk on Trey Young and he's still not playing. It's been 10 months, my guy. It's been 10 months. There's no more excuses. You trash your buns. Honestly, bro, when you come back and play, you could play all 82 games next season. And I still wouldn't have an ounce of respect. And honestly, bro, it is what it is. Honestly, he's a bum. Hey, bro. bro. Hey, bro. Let me jump in there next. Let me jump in there next. Go, go, ahead. Ahead. go ahead. Go ahead, bro. First, I want to <laughs> shout out, shout out, Ball Don't Stop, man. A, a basketball outlet that's real authentic, man. I really mm-hmm. mess with a lot of his stuff, and he made he made a, a great point yesterday. And he was talking about basically, I don't want to say Ben Simmons is like faking or nothing like that, but he brought up a great point with Ben Simmons and Zion how he feels like a lot of players in their spots would be itching to get back, bro. If your body's healthy. And we don't know if Ben Simmons' body is truly healthy or not, but a lot of players will be itching to get back and just, like, have that burning desire of, like, let me get back on the court, let me hoop. But let me touch on this point, though. I'm glad Ball Don't Start brought that up, but I feel like this goes to the AAUization, like I was talking about earlier, of the NBA. Growing up, bro, we all know them kids that, like, oh, yeah, I don't got to do this. I don't got to try out. I'm just going to show up. Like, oh, I'm better than everybody. Y'all should just fear me off my reputation. Those type players, bro, I feel like that's how they're treated coming up. So then when I get to the NBA, it's like, all right, bet. I, I don't got to do this. I don't got to do that. Obviously, bro, you didn't have to work for nothing. You didn't have to – you weren't really battle-tested. But now you get to the NBA, and everybody there is good. Nobody gives a damn about your name. So now it's like, all right, damn. Zion, what's going on, bro? You can't stay in shape. But everybody bowed at your altar when you walked in the room. Oh, that's Zion. That's Zion. Oh, Ben Simmons, you're the greatest player, greatest thing since sliced bread in 10th grade, bro. Everybody's on your meat. Now it's like, all right, now I'm in the NBA. Don't nobody care. No, ain't nobody scared of me. I really got a hoop. I feel like they're just kind of getting exposed a little bit, bro, in my opinion. Sure. Like Ben Simmons, I feel like he's just like, I don't know what he's scared of, but hey, bro, honestly, I would respect him more if he just came out and said, oh, I'm not playing for the rest of this season. I'm out. Just yeah. stop, stop stringing people along, bro. And Zion, as for Zion, man, I've been wanting to touch on this for a long time, but Zion, bro, get right, bro. You're wasting a golden opportunity, bro. Like Bottom Stop said, a lot of people would kill to be in your position, bro. You have a great team. New Orleans Pelicans, bro, they still balling out without you on the squad, bro. But when you're on the floor, bro, you're a great player, bro. You scoring, you scoring 30 points a game and stuff like that. So I feel like you just got to get right, bro, and kind of – I don't want to say stop listening to everybody else's opinion of you, bro, but, like, you got to get right, bro. Like, you dropping a video, you dunking pregame, that shit lame as hell. Don't know yeah, man, doing. as far as – Ben Simmons is definitely on the top five players that don't want to hoop. And if y'all don't know what that list yeah. is, it's an ever-evolving list – where players that don't want to hoop just get put on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty self-explanatory. You might um, be top on that list. Um, at one point in time, who was on that list? I, I can't remember. Melo was on that list. Melo um, was on Blake that Griffin list. was on the list. DG. <laughs> Chick yeah. Wyatt for a little bit. AD, yeah. too, could have been on there for a little bit, too. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of players just, that go on there. Honestly, that fuck. It's it's you're not permanently. Hey, Kyrie was on there, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 he was. You're not permanently yeah, on that list for life. You can get off that list. All yeah. you have to simply do is start hoping. It's not that hard. You just got to do your job. You do what you're getting paid for. But um, it is kind of disappointing to see <clears throat> players get paid this much and to not do their job. I don't know the injury status or everything that's going on with, with Ben Simmons. But my thing is, I after watching Clay Thompson tear his ACL and – and do a try to pass the, the sideline protocol test. He start hopping. He start doing sprints. I'm like, hey, bro, is nuts. He's doing all that on a torn ACL. That's how bad he want to get back in the game. But y'all telling me y'all have these little knickknack injuries. Get y'all asses back, bro. Hey, bro. Suit up. Everyone hey, does. I'm glad you brought that up, bro. Let, no, let's just touch on this whole thing right now, bro. <laughs> that, all right. So I'm seeing Adam Silver coming out trying to figure out, oh, how can we get these guys to play? Hey, bro. This low management shit, bro. If you're LeBron or Kawhi and you've been in the league, you paid your dues, bro. I can respect it because you, you, you're going to need your time off, bro. Facts, bro. If you claim you love it that much, you would want to get it back out there with like no hesitation. But the fact that you're like doing everything in your power, to not get on the court, it's just it. It's very questionable, bro. Like, like what it's are very we doing, bro? I have to, I have to put this as, as, as in as simple, something complex. They make seem so complex in as simple terms as possible. Do your job. No one should have to beg you. Adam Silver talking about job. incentivizing players. Why are we incentivizing players to do their fucking job? Hey, we're not. In, we're not giving you what no incentive. No incentives. Hey, bro, you get paid enough. Your, let's be your real. contracts are guaranteed. 
people spending their hard earned money to come watch y'all play, bro. Now, like I said, if you're LeBron, Kawhi, KD, you coming off an injury, something like that, I understand load managing, bro. But y'all just find out reasons to sit out. Zion, bro, you're over on the side looking cool as shit, bro. Get your goofy ass in shape, bro, and play. What are we hey. doing, bro? Ben yeah. Simmons, bro, I'm not going to get on you because we don't know what's going on with you, bro. But I'm just talking about all these players, bro. I just, oh, I, I can't play today. Oh, I got this. I got that, bro. If you're not an old player, you ain't pay your dues in the league, bro. Play. Why? We shouldn't yeah. have to incentivize players to play basketball, bro. Please, people are spending hard earned <laughs> money to come watch you guys play, bro. Be on the fucking court if you're not hurt. That's all I'm sure. saying. Thanks, man. Hey, man, we don't know what's going on with Ben Simmons, but you know what I do know? It's a whole bunch of bullshit that's going on with him because I don't believe a goddamn thing he's saying no more for real. Bro, he's just lying. What I mean, why didn't he this bring up this back goofy, injury, bro? Yeah, what yeah. I want to know why didn't he bring this back injury up when he was with the Philadelphia 76ers? So it's time why? to hoop, bro. Back hurt. Yeah, yeah. Like it is what it is, bro. If you don't want to hoop, bro, just leave the NBA. Go be a fucking waitress or something. Hey, like, bro. Damn. That's why I can kind of respect. I can kind of respect for real, uh, something. Shit. It's like the NBA, bro. The TNT show with with Shaq, Chuck, Kenny, and Ernie, DJ, bro. Like. Sometimes that can go overboard with the criticism, bro. But I kind of like how they it's yesterday, needed. bro. They were just it's calling, needed. they was calling players out, bro. Like they were talking about, don't say you're a great player, bro. If we can stop you, because then everybody want to complain. Oh, I'm getting double team. I'm getting this. I'm getting that. Hey, mm -hmm. bro, that's just if you're a great player, that's what's gonna happen, bro. But I can kind of respect them calling players out, bro, because it's kind of getting like we baby Very players too much nowadays, bro. They come up through AAU, they get baby. Everybody on name, oh, you're the greatest thing since sliced bread. But then when you get to the <laughs> NBA, they still have the exact same mindset, bro. No, yeah. hoop. Hoop, bro. Yeah. That's why I can respect the player like Giannis, bro. We can respect these guys that go out there and do their job every single night, bro. Like, yes, sir. Especially, like, people want to talk about LeBron, KD, all these the guys that have been carrying the NBA for the past 10 years. Steph Curry, bro. Mm -hmm. When they healthy, they play. But, yes, bro, sir. they've been in the league, bro. These young guys, y'all coming in here, y'all being soft as hell. We got a baby, y'all. We got to incentivize y'all to play. We got to, oh, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, he yelled. He said a mean name to me, bro. No, get out there and play. We got to stop babying motherfuckers, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, sure, bro. Perfectly said, bro. It. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Out, go out there and hoop, bro. Go out there and hoop. Like, if you love the sport that much, it really shouldn't be hard for you at all to just wake up, do what you got to do, go out there and hoop. You feel me? If, especially if you love it that much. But if not, man, just balance. Go do something yeah, else. Yeah, bro. And, and players are making more money than ever, bro. But, hey, I know a lot of people don't really pay attention to, to stuff like the collective bargaining agreement, bro. What the NBA president, I don't know who the president is right now. I, I believe it was CP3 or CJ McCollum, yeah, one of those guys, bro. But hey, don't be surprised if players start losing money, bro. Uh, teams start putting different clauses and stuff in contracts, bro. Pay to play stuff like that, bro. Yeah. Don't be mad when that happens because hey, players like Ben Simmons, players that, that just want to sit out, advantage. players like Zion, they're taking advantage yeah. of it, bro. So it's like now at the end of the day, bro, when, when teams start like, oh, no, we got to get our money back because these guys are not playing. All right, when it hurts everybody else or hurts players that are coming into the league, mm -hmm. hey, bro, just look back at these, the AAUization of the league, bro, and all these players that don't want to play, bro, and we just making excuses. I remember Ben Simmons was resting uh, low managing in a, in a summer league, bro. I said, this shit getting ridiculous, bro. Yeah. Summer league? That's yeah. crazy. No. We got to stop. Yeah, bro, we just got to stop babying people. Bro. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to leave it at that, man. But y'all got any other, any other uh, you know thing to say about that one? No, bro, yeah, that's think, perfectly said. Perfectly yeah, I think we said. covered thing on that one. If you want to get off the list, my recommendation to you, the hoop, only hoop. answer is just hoop. <laughs> just lace them up. Go out there on the court, just at least at the minimum. Just, hey, that's not – we're not asking you to, to score 60 points in, a, in your first game back. We just ask not you even, to get out Not there. even one bucket. Just <laughs> get out there, just stand on the court, have your jersey on, and that's good enough. <laughs> Like, damn. Yes, bro. sir. Hey, if you want to see the AUization of, of basketball, not just the NBA, bro, go to your <laughs> local gym, man. Go watch your local high school team. Go watch your local middle school team, bro. I'll guarantee man. you're going to see it. Man, I grew up seeing it my whole life, bro. <laughs> I grew up seeing it my whole life. For real. Motherfuckers are thinking they're too good all of a sudden. Like, what the Dude, hell? Just everybody, do yeah, too love. good, too good, too cool to go out there and hoop. Like, damn, bro, that's, that's wild. Uh, that's yeah. just basketball. We're supposed to compete, man. But, hey, that's this man. podcast, man. And this is the end of discussion because we out. Peace. Oh. Peace. The jungle like I'm Conan, kind of with both hands Switch the flow like it was broken, I'm on the road man Making plays just like DeRozan I shoot my shot, and that shit wetter than the ocean I brag a lot, but with the wind and come the boatsin I made a lot, from them apartments that I sold And he didn't make it up to college, sold them streets when he enrolled And I know I'm a scholar from the moments that I was exposed in